Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Savannah if you are new here and today we are continuing our legacy challenge. I'm very excited. I did a little poll in my discord today asking what I should film legacy or not so very and legacy one by a lot. I mean, it's everyone's favorite. I guess I'm not surprised. <laughs> I'm very excited to play this today. I haven't played this Let's Play since my game crashed and I had to redo everything. I kind of just had a bitter taste in my mouth and I've just been avoiding it. Plus, The Sims has a lot going on with it right now. A lot of glitches that are kind of like ruining everybody's Let's Plays. So I didn't want that to happen, especially with my Legacy family. But I've been playing my, the new high school pack on Twitch and the glitches that I have aren't that bad. Um, my prom doesn't work and everyone is a global superstar, but that's not like a huge deal for me for this Let's Play at least. So yeah, fingers crossed everything goes smoothly today. Patrick Praise. I do have a Celsius, but like I said in a couple videos ago, I've been mixing it with orange juice. So I have it in my Yeti again. Um, it's just really refreshing and it like wakes up my taste buds in the morning. I don't really know. I don't know how to explain it, but I do recommend it. It's a mango passion fruit Celsius with a splash of OJ and it is just so good. So cheers to you. Cheers to this video. I'm so excited to play some Legacy today. Let's freaking get into it, y'all. Cheers. So I thought we could start over here on the Sims 4 Legacy Challenge website. I thought it would be a good idea for us to kind of just look it over together and see what exactly um, we need to do still. I also kind of wanted to like familiar, familiarize myself with the rules again because it's just been so long since I've read this that I've forgot, you know? I, I especially want to know about the uh like age thing so a sim may utilize an anti-aging item once in their life this includes a potion of youth or milking the cow plant any cheats that freeze aging or lengthen lifespan times may not be used okay so whatever it is that i do it can only be once in a sim's life that's we already kind of knew that um oh my god i have not been following this rule at all you may not change a sim's current aspiration the exception is when they fully complete an aspiration <gasps> oops i've been breaking that rule a lot my bad <laughs> um let's see uh, da -da -da, da -da -da -da. the wishing well can only be used once per sim in their life so Okay, so they get one anti-aging and one wish from the wishing well. It's pretty much what we've knew what we've known. So here is where we get into the points. <clears throat> I'm not I used to be very uh just focused on getting points, but it's not really my main focus anymore. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, come on, are you kidding me? That's probably one of the most disappointing feelings in the world is when you have to sneeze and it goes away. Like, I, I, I was robbed. Ah, uh, one point per gen. The point is gained when the current heir reaches young adulthood. The challenge ends the moment the 10th generation child is born. Oh my god. The 10th point is obtained by having slash adopting 10 children in a single generation, which we have done already. Founder heir and their primary spells must be memorialized per generation. We've been doing that. Um, the money thing. We are well on our way to this. We are almost there. For every three unique traits that the primary spouse brings into the family, you gain one point. Okay. Um, these are just like maxing skills. How many skills you max per in the challenge equals how many points you get for that. I've been keeping track on that on the Plum Tree app, the family, uh, the family tree. Um, these are aspirations, uh, the collections, which we need to get going on. Expensive fridge and stove and fully upgrade that. We've done that. Highest quality version of Baked Alaska. I think we've done that as well. We've done that. Wait, have a single Sim Max cooking, gourmet, and mixology. We've done that. Have Sims complete both food aspirations in a single generation. We need to have a generation where we focus a lot on food and cooking. Because there's like a lot under this. Um, and then this is like for the events that you throw. This is going to be a tough one to track. Because I haven't been keeping track of that at all. So we're just kind of just going to have to guess i guess uh, we have all the push potions of youth that we need all the upbringing traits uh able to have a single sim grow up with all five traits manifesting they don't have to be positive and that's it that is it guys i thought there was a lot more that we were gonna have to do but i'm not as stressed about it anymore <laughs> 
Okie dokie, everybody. Here we are back in the legacy household. So, like I said earlier in the last episode, my game crashed while we were at the park celebrating Lamar's birthday. So, we're gonna have to uh, go ahead and re redo that. <laughs> I did give them all really cute July 4 outf outfits, but I honestly don't know if I want to do that again. <laughs> so... Yeah, I think we're just gonna head over to the park and um, Age of Lamar that way. I don't even remember, did we, we did make a cake, but I think I need to remake it because yeah, the game crashed and uh, yeah. Please make him a cake, thank you very much. Isn't it insane that Stella is a proper celeb from her writing? Oh, she has a talent point. Oh yeah, we completed the tree. So what are we supposed to do with this extra talent point? She's just gonna freaking sit there. <laughs> Look at all these traits that she has. It's honestly insane. She's a workaholic. She's a people person. She is a proper celebrity with a pristine reputation. She does have a fame point though. So I'm gonna spend that. What do we wanna spend it on? Giving back, let's do that one. I think that suits her. She has a physics degree. Yeah, guys, she is, she's vibing. She likes Christmas music and singer-songwriter music. She likes cooking, fitness, robotics, dancing, writing, mixology, and photography. She doesn't like yellow. Baby, your hair's yellow. <laughs> How many aspiration points do you have? <gasps> Holy moly. Oh, we need to complete, or we need to select a new aspiration for her. Did we do that in the last episode and I, I forgot to redo it here? Oh, well, well, let's choose another one for her then. Um, I'm thinking in this stage of her life, I don't know. I don't think that the family aspirations suit her. Let's do the soulmate one because we're going to be doing a lot of this stuff anyway, you know? So let's grab that for her. And then let's spend some of her reward points as well. What is this one? Inspired Explorer. Inspired Explorers build relationships and gain skills faster while outside their home. Interesting. Very interesting. It's like none of these, she has everything that I already, that I want her to have. You know, I guess we'll just save them. We'll save them and get her something big later. All right, so she's making that cake. Lamar is playing a game. That's fair, it's your birthday. You can do whatever you want. Oh, uh, Lamar's uh, branch of his aspiration uh, for like this, this one is almost done. He just needs to introduce himself to one more person. And then he is tech guru level six. Not bad, not bad. He has not maxed any skills yet, but I want to max video gaming for him, programming, and cooking maybe because those are those are pretty high up there um what else what else what else he has indoorsy techie and sedentary uh he really likes staying inside and just vibing which is fair he likes cooking and fitness <laughs> it's pretty cute and then ren my love my darling 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 ren we are working on juice fizzing for you which is a fiver skill so that should be done quite pretty quickly. Indoorsy, single and loving it, and people person. She's a B-lister. She has the um, entertainer musician career. She's level six, so we're working on that. Evangeline, sweet, sweet baby. She's cleaning up her brother's mess, I would assume. I'm not, I'm not really sure, but <laughs> uh, her skills are coming along. Um, and then Edison is the next heir. His skills are also coming along. Uh, he's a B student, which is good, and he has uh, the rambunctious scamp aspiration, which we have not been working on. <laughs> um, all right, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. So once the uh -oh, once the cake is done, we will head over to the park and have a good July Fourth slash Lamar's birthday. And it is done, and it looks beautiful. Good job, Zo. Add some candles. Put it in your inventory and let's head over. Please, God. I'm gonna save when we get there. Uh, <laughs> I just really hope it doesn't crash again. But if so, I think we're gonna have to pick another lot to celebrate at. All right. Yes, we want to bring everyone in the house. And then when we get there, I will have Lamar invite more people. So I got the other side of my nostril pierced and I got a second one on this side. So I've got a little like, <laughs> this is way too up close and personal for me. But yeah, I've got like two little studs and one hoop. I like it a lot. 
Okay, I got all the family over. Lamar, do you have any friends from work that you would like to invite? Um, Shep, huh? You know Shep? I guess we can invite him. And Louis Vator? Okay. Alrighty. Let's have a lovely summer day, everyone. Let's have fun. Not Ren busting out her freaking violin. She's like, ah, oh, I'll play some jams for everyone, you know? Oh my god, her, the violin matches her outfit. Can you stop being so iconic? Please? Oh! <laughs> oh man, you love to be the center of attention, don't you? All right, what are you up to, baby girl? What are you doing? What are you doing? Just standing there? Why? What is happening here? Did I do that? Look for discarded toys. Hey, Shep. Hey, Lamar, why don't you come say what's up to your coworker? Why does it say friendly introduction? Oh God, what? What, what, what? What happened? What happened? Who, yes, who died? Oh, no one in the family, thank goodness. We're fine, we're fine. Ooh, we got a, a, a discarded Void Critters booster pack from the trash can. I love that for us. Let's go ahead, turn on some music so people will dance and it's not so like awkwardly quiet. What is this? Entrepreneur skill? Ren has started building fledgling entrepreneur skills through hustling to build this skill. What? Is that a custom thing? Bruce! Okay, my game crashed. I think... It's the lot because I haven't had this issue with any other gameplay except for when I go to this lot. All right. Well, at least I know now. Thank God I saved. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, we're back in the game. I decided to come over to Solani because I don't know, a beach day just uh, seemed nice, but it's a little crappy. So I, I changed the weather. This, this baby that's crying. This is uh, Ophelia's baby. Her name is Elizabeth. I gave her a little bit of a makeover um, before I started filming today. Uh, and I summoned everyone else, so I'm kind of just waiting for everyone to get here. I'm gonna put the cake over here on this table. And then I'm gonna get Stella to start making food for everyone. Um, Let's do a barbecue ribs plate, and then we can also make some baked potatoes as well. Ooh! Ooh, Luna had her baby. That's fantastic. I told her to come over here though, so I'm just gonna wait for her to get here. Stella is so unbelievably... Zoe, oh my god, I keep calling her freaking Stella, don't I? She is so unbelievably ripped, dude. Like, look at that definition. Um, Antonella thinks Zoe is swell and wants to become best friends. You're a ghost, first of all. Second of all, we don't know you, so no. <laughs> I heard that was a bit of a... A bit of a glitch as well, like everyone wanting to be your best friend and like, oh no, did that just make her sad? Oh, I'm so sorry, love. I'm sorry. Again, we don't know you, so. <laughs> um, Nice royalty report. We made a bunch of money. Hi, Rotheos. Good to see you. Let's get you in your, your swimsuit. Oh, you're so cute. You look like a mermaid. Who's this? Kenneth Fires. Oh my God, that Fires family is so huge. There's Sims every- the, I mean, shoot, our family is huge too. Oh, it looks like Ren put in extensions for today and this guy is just like absolutely praising her. She does not seem impressed though. She isn't even that famous. Like, Zoe is more famous than her, but this guy is freaking out about Ren for some reason. But Zoe is- I feel like her fame is very niche. Like, she's a famous writer while um, Ren is a famous, like, musician. So maybe more people know about Ren than they do uh, Zoe, you know? Hi, Bruce. It's good to see you. And look at Ophelia. She's so cute. She has bangs now. Love that for you. She's a little mom. Oh, we still need to know, like, who she had a baby with. We do not know yet. It's very spicy. Let's have a look at the family tree, actually. That's, like, an easy way for us to see. So, Ophelia, this baby right here. Did you adopt her? Because there's no dad showing up on the family tree. Interesting. So we got the cake here. We got some barbecue ribs and baked potatoes in, in the works. There goes Ren playing the violin again. And this time it's white. 
So it actually does match her outfit every single time. And someone just took a slice of freaking cake. Oh, Bellamy, hi, hello, welcome. Let's get you in your swimsuit as well. Whoa, what's that on your head? Oh God, your swimsuit's all messed up. <laughs> oh well, it's fine. Also, guys, um, I gave Marnie a makeover. I don't know if y'all remember, but she's, um, uh, she's trans. So she's in the process of uh, transitioning into a male sim. So I kind of just did a little, th a little bit of uh, stuff to her. I changed her hair. Uh, changed his hair actually and gave him a couple of new outfits and um, eventually he's going to like have some surgeries and we will change his name as well but I kind of just wanted to do it in like a slow and realistic progression um, so yeah looking real fly if I do say so myself but let me get him in his swimsuit here um, yeah I just want everyone to have 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 a nice beach day Eat some food, hang out. Oh my gosh, Evangeline is so freaking cute. I love her so much. And this is um, Manami, I don't know if y'all remember, but she uh, is the nanny for Evangeline and Edison. So can you not walk like that? Like I really hate it. It's so, use normal walk style. Who are you? Sky, that is, that. I really need to take this out of my game. I keep saying that, but that outfit is just like, <laughs> It's so insane. And I hate that people took some of the cake. Like, come on, guys. Come on. Okay. I'm gonna have Lamar blow out the candles before there is, like, nothing left on this cake's plate. <laughs> Must be in the center. Is it not in the center? Oh, my God. Like, okay, having famous sins is cool, but not when people start freaking out. It is in the center, isn't it? What? What do you mean? Why can't we do it? I'm gonna have to buy a freaking counter to put the cake on. Do you know how stupid and unrealistic that is? If you guys are playing the high school pack, let me know uh, what you think about it. I'm curious. Curious, curious, curious. Um, and also, if you guys are having, like, really bad glitches let me know <laughs> let me know what they are i'm curious about that as well okay lamar let's go ahead and make a wish on this half-eaten cake i mean it is what it is happy birthday sir oh look at that everyone sang into you Woo! a nice beach birthday that's really vibey Yay! Let's see your elder form, shall we? Oh, so gray. You're so gray. You're so gray. You're so gray. Oh, we need to change your hairline, but happy birthday, sir. I really hope that you live for a good amount of time because I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know what we're going to do, but you're still handsome as ever. I'll give you that. I wish we could like wish him happy birthday. Recite love poetry. Oh my god, that's such a cute little interaction from a writer and they're like a writer and their love interest. That's adorable. Oh, brother and sister hug. So cute. Oh, there's just a full blown mermaid just vibing out here. Who is this? Jensen Lane, an elder mermaid. Wow, he is like not, not keeping it a secret at all. <laughs> Ooh, 250 grand from investing this week. Let's go. We go to Illinois, sunbathe in swimwear. We go to Illinois. Oh yeah, it's July 4th. Did we purchase fireworks? We have a sparkler in our inventory. All right, Miss Ren, can you purchase some fireworks, please, since you're already sitting there? Let's try calling Tamil again with the, with the ribs and the potatoes. I want people to eat, you know? Eat the food! Wait a minute. Hold up. The ribs plate has, oh my God, it has cor cornbread, beans, spinach, and ribs. Hey, yo, that's cool. <laughs> I thought I loved that. I thought it was just ribs. Dude, everyone is vibing. This is a solid day. Oh my God, Ren, did you eat food? Ay, ay, ay. Maybe back floating will make you feel better. I'm not really sure. Oh, wow. Okay.
Anyways, no, it's not. You you still feel sick, so you're just gonna go relax on a towel. No problem, no problem. Dude, my game is so broken. There's a guy without a torso over there. This guy has been standing there since we got here. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's all bad. It's all bad, but at least it's working. <laughs> I guess that's all I really care about. Oh, cute. So cute. Oh, why don't you come swing with your father? Sun's going down. It's almost time for fireworks. I hope you guys are stoked. So cute, I swear. The cutest. Really like your hair, sir. What's your name? Tamati? Nice hair, nice hair. Love it. Hey, Zoe. <gasps> Whoa! Oh my god. It's really weird. The game thinks Ren is a mermaid because her legs are like flipping around like she has fins. All right, it's dark. Let's go ahead and lay out all the fireworks on the beach. Hopefully, okay, they are usable on the beach, fantastic. All righty, Evangeline, do you want to light one? Sing together. Will they light it and then sing? I am very, very curious. Let's see this. Come on, everybody. Let's do this thing. Happy July 4th. Uh, no way! She said, oh, we need some music up in here. I'll play my violin while y'all sing. That sounds like crap, y'all. That does not sound good. Oh, she's getting some money from it, though. Let's light this thing. Be careful. Cute. Beautiful! Ren, be nice! A little girl just asked her for her autograph and she said no. Cute! I wish they could do more with the sparklers instead of just like... Stand there and hold it, but... It's fine. It is what it is. Why does Ren have her umbrella open? You like? No? What's with the umbrellas, guys? Is it raining? Oh, it is raining. Oh, shoot. What a way to end. That sucks. Cute! <laughs> I liked I think these are my favorite. That's adorable. Well, it looks like everyone had a nice day. I'm glad we were able to um, get everything done. Everyone had a su successful July 4th. Let's go. I love that for us. Love it, love it, love it. Welcome home, everybody. I hope you all had a lovely day today. Everyone is quite happy, I think. Uh, let me look at the calendar and see what we got going on next. So we got the talent showcase today. I can't remember if we were nominated or not, but I think we should go anyway, because sometimes even if you're not nominated, you'll win. Um, so yeah, let's, let's plan to do that tonight. And then the next day we've got air day, so we need to do things to, uh, to honor the past heirs. We've got gardening for Sav, mischief spirit for Max, games for Olive, we need to add one for Charlie. So Charlie was lazy. So I'm thinking, is there one where we can just like relax? We could tell stories. I think that would be kind of cute. Definitely not exercise or fast. <laughs> How come there's no one where you can just like chill? Okay, let's just do tell stories then for, for, for Charles. The next birthday we have is Zoe's in a week, and then the next day we have Evangeline and Edison's birthday. Ooh, how freaking exciting, y'all. How exciting. Okay, let's get the mail. Also, do you have any stories in here that need to be published? I don't believe so. That's fine. How's your job coming along? Author level eight. Okay. And you have work in seven hours, so 
Let's get you to... Let's have some pancakes and then I'm gonna send you to bed and you can just sleep until then. You, my sweet, you have not done your homework, but you have class in three days, so you have plenty of time to do that. Let's work on your skills, though. What do you want to do for this? Play on a jungle gym while playful? <clears throat> no, let's play some games. What about you, my boy? You just hungry? Um, you also need to play on a jungle gym while playful. Oh my goodness, okay. We need to like go, we need to go to a, we need to go to a park soon to get that out of the way. Okay, please don't chat with Lamar. I'd rather you not. <laughs> uh, let's collect this juice that we've got going. All right, let's get some juice fizzing. Ooh, it looks like all this stuff needs to be super sold. See guys, we've done it. We have, oh God, who died? Who died? Who died? Who died? Who was it? Reagan, no, not our bestie. That's so sad. Everyone is dying before her. God, that must be so terrible. Lamar, why are you sleeping out here? I guess the weather is quite nice and it is the last day of summer. He fell asleep by the bonfire. Oh, what a cute little way to end your birthday. <laughs> He's adorable, you guys. I'm a big fan of him. Hey, Ren, I think Vlad is pretty cute. Yep, she just said that. Should I ask him out? <sighs> Honestly, Reagan, <sighs> you're a ghost. He's a vampire. I mean, you might as well. We'll see where that goes. Look at these cute babies just playing Mario Kart together. I love it. I love it so much. This is a very wholesome generation, but I have a feeling when they age up into teens, it's gonna get, it's gonna get crazy, baby. It's gonna get crazy. Load some bluebells in the machine and then start fizzing, then start fizzing. All right, babes, let's have a potion of plentiful needs. Cause you got work in an hour. Ren, start fizzing. Ooh, I need to put the juice in the fridge before it gets soiled at, soiled at, and soiled at. Lamar, what are you doing? Are you having a, a beverage at, at this hour? Do you have work? Two days? Okay, well, I guess you're free to do whatever it is you want. Um, let me hop in a cast with you really quick, though, and change your hairline color. Or should we make it... Should we make it like salt and pepper hair? Not exactly gr like full on gray yet. Oh, he got a little bit of wrinkles as well, guys. Oh my gosh. Yeah, like salt and pepper kind of like this. I think that's kind of a vibe. All right, sir. It's not as aggressive as aggressive as the gray. <laughs> yeah, you're looking you're looking good. You're looking good. You're looking your age. Crazy. I can't believe he's an elder already. I don't know how long Sim Sims are elders for, but I'm just hoping that he doesn't die while Stella is still an adult. That would really suck. Also, oh my God, they need to get married too for Zoe's aspiration, I think. Oh my God. And I said that I wanted, I said that I wanted to explore the wedding pack with Zoe and Lamar as well. So next legacy challenge episode is probably going to be a Zoe and Lamar wedding. Which would be fun, very exciting. I mean, they're gonna like get married and then he's gonna die like right away, but you know what? Time moves really fast in The Sims. <laughs> Let's give Edison a treat. I mean, shoot, what was his name again? Sir Isaac a treat. Oh my God, not Edison, my bad. Oh, he shooed the cat out of the bathroom. Oh my God. It's just a cat. Did you take that potion to plant? You didn't, baby. Oh my gosh, she's having an emotional meltdown, that's why. All right, so I'm gonna need you to take that potion of plentiful needs and I'm gonna need you to go to work, okay? Oh, she's already going. Oh, shoot. Well, she's not gonna have a very good day today. Oh my God, it's a conspiracy. There's no possible way that our town could naturally have this many blades of grass with the exact same width. Help me set up a site to expose the truth. I can pay you with grilled cheese, right? No? Well, the truth must have its voice, no matter the price. All right, Lamar, you have fun with that side job. Doesn't sound fun at all, but... <laughs> 
while he is doing that, I would really like to take the kids to the park. So I'm gonna go ahead and have, maybe I can get Edison, Evangeline, and Manami to go together. Did I place a park somewhere? It looks like there's a jungle gym in Brindleton Bay. So we gonna go there. Evangeline and where's Manami at? Come on, Nanny, take us to the park, would ya? Also, I need to figure out a way to get them playful because they need they need to play on a jungle gym while playful. Hi, Manami. Oh my God, are you pregnant? Are you having a baby of your own? Oh, <gasps> she's having a baby with Bellamy. What? What are the freaking chances of that? And why am I so excited? Okay, we have to give her a makeover now. We have to, but after this park day. Um, that is so funny, but I am so here for it. Holy cannoli. Um, let's try to get these little babies playful. Oh God, dad's calling. What is it? <laughs> this game. Why would he be calling his son about this? They must have a really, really good relationship. He's like, son, I found a ring in mom's bag. <laughs> Should I say yes? Obviously he's gonna say yes. Like, of course, of course I want you to freaking marry mom. <sighs> Anyways, so how do I get you freaking playful? I think it might be working. I'm not sure. Let's get them on the on the playground. Play pirate together. Oh, who's this? Emery. Hi, cutie. It's nice to meet you. Oh my god, look at that little little baby. What's your name? Hold on, what's your name? Angie. Oh my god, Angie. Ignore the fangs, but like your outfit? Everything about you is iconic. Let's let's introduce ourselves, guys. Let's make some friends today. Thank you for watching us, Manami. There's so many kids here. How fun. I just need you guys to be playful, you know? Have a good shift, Ren. Work hard. <gasps> Look at Manami! Why is she such a good nanny? Oh my gosh, I love her. She's not only gonna be our nanny, but she's gonna be our freaking... What is Bellamy to them? Their uncle? She's gonna be our aunt. Where did you, what did you, where did you get that food from? Oh my God, play, you're playful, play, 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 play. it's for your aspiration. Do it, do it, do it. This is a jungle gym, right? Yeah! Yes, dad, what is it? It's dad, when are you gonna come visit? What do you mean? We live together. Stop trolling us, we're trying to have fun. Evangeline is not playful yet. How do we get you playful, babe? Oh my God, Zoe got promoted to best-selling author. An additional 135 an hour, a two that two, two, $2,400 bonus, muse. <gasps> Good for you, good for you, good for you, good for you. I'm so proud of you. So, why don't you come over here, Zoe? Come over here. Well, they're not feeling very good, so. Oh my gosh, she's uncomfortable, but she's gonna autonomously do her homework? What a good girl you are. Yeah. Oh my, Lanta. Did you guys make a bunch of friends today? Looks like you did. Devin, Emery, Guy, Angie, Lee, Melanie. Good for you guys. I'm so proud of you making friends. Oh my gosh, Manami. Ah, I'm obsessed with you. I cannot wait to see your guys' baby. Oh, okay. That's our cue. Time to go home. Oh my gosh, she's helping us with our homework. I'm sorry, Manami, but you are perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, time to go home, guys. Let's go, let's go. Thanks, Manami. See you next time. Welcome home. Time for bed. Time for bed. Good night, pumpkins. Sleep tight. What the heck are you making up here in such a foul mood? Shish kebabs? Why aren't you taking care of yourself is the real question. <laughs> Zoe, what the heck? I click on her to see what she's up to and she's having an emotional meltdown in this in this closet over here. But why? Okay, we need to buy you a uh, a quirk be gone because this is insane. I don't want this for you. Here, drink it, you'll feel so much better. How's that robotics skill coming along? Did you max it yet? 
Not yet, you're almost there. Work on it a little bit then, shall we? Oh, I forgot that Zoe's best friend died. That's probably why she's so freaking sad. Not Chris, all of her childhood friends are passing away. Oh man, too many deaths, too many deaths, too many deaths. Oh, good morning, love. Are you just on the struggle bus right now? You have a bathroom in your house. Why are you coming all the way over here to use this? Happy fall, and it's air day today. So we need to garden, be mischievous, play games, and tell stories. Can do. Oh my God, I swear. We just got rid of the emotion bomb quirk and she just got it right back again. That is honestly insane. How many times do we have to do this? How many times? Aw, asked to be flower pal at wedding? Yes, we should definitely do that. Did you ask her what happened? Ask her, do it. Well, this is intense. Cute. All right, let's ask Edison to be a uh, ring bearer. I wonder, since I said yes, are they, are they like officially engaged? Oh, they are. That kind of sucks. Cause like, I wanted to ask her, but he called Edison and was like, should I say yes? And I guess that automatically makes them engaged. All right, let's ask our boy out. Hey, you actually visited us like you said you would. You're such a good kid. We love you. <laughs> We live together, dad. I wonder if Zoe can ask Ren to be maid of honor. Sim of honor, oh my gosh, we can. How cool. Will you be my maid of honor, Ren? Oh, so cute. Oh, they, oh my God. Ren, what was that? Pretend to bite? Oh my, stop being mean to her. You know what? You, 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 you need some, some plasma. Look at all of the cakes you can get. Oh my goodness. I wouldn't even, oh God. Planning their wedding is going to be a whole video, isn't it? Hi, Karumba. Are you freaking kidding me right now? Hi, Luna. Welcome. How are you? Let's um announce engagement. Has to be efficient. I don't know what to do about this emotion bomb. I can't keep wasting aspiration points on quirk be gones if they're not gonna last, you know? <laughs> Zoe is down to be in the wedding. I mean, Luna. Ay ay ay. Oh my god, Zoe. I can't I can't do this. I can't do this with you. No. <laughs> Zoe, we need to go. Uh, we need to go to the Starlight Accolades. I totally freaking forgot, but I think we're just gonna go alone this time because I don't have time to give everyone like fancy outfits. I don't think that she was nominated, but, oh, we should have brought Ren actually. It is important to, you know, show your face at these kind of things when you are a celebrity. You know what I mean? Put her in her uh, birthday outfit. Man, this outfit is so good. It's so good. All right, drink that potion. Feel a little bit better. Oh, Bruce, Bruce, you're a bouncer here and you're a B-lister? Hey, yo, congratulations, sir. Congratulations. I'm gonna get her to order her favorite drink and then we will attend the ceremony. I'm pretty sure this is where it, it's held. Yeah, because this is all set up. What's up, girl? What's your name? Teresa. Ooh, her favorite drink is Soft Shadow or Avor... Avorani... Avorellino. Oh my God, you're so fancy. You're so fancy, girl. I love her. I love her so much. I love her so much. Ooh, ooh, what's this? Com commanding complexity. Oh my goodness, let's go. All right, girl, let's attend, shall we? Ah, I recognize, I recognize a lot of these people from... Wait, for the outstanding fashion achievement for wearing really tight pants that look real good. Minoru, congratulations, Minoru. God, the starlight accolades drive me absolutely insane. Oh, she made a friend, Lydia. Okay, I respect Lydia because she's actually wearing a dress. Oh my god! We won one! I freaking knew it! For such riveting writing and storytelling, Zoe Campos has won the Starlight Accolade for best book. Hey, 
Yo! Oh, I'm so proud. Accept award, baby. Oh my god, there she goes. Oh my god, not her standing in him. Oh my god, look. She she's taking after her dad. Her voice is so squeaky. Oh god, I'm so proud. I'm so proud of her. Yes, girl! <laughs> that concludes tonight's ceremony. All right. We love to see it, y'all. We love it. We love it. We love it. We finally got that Starlight Accolade. I know we only went one time previous to this, but we didn't win. And I was very upset about it. <laughs> That's another thing to add to Zoe's resume. A Starlight Accolade. Let's go ahead and tell Lamar about what happened tonight. Cute. What's wrong with you? Uh, oh, you gotta pee. Delso? Delso? Dinosaurs everywhere. <laughs> Let's request a good story from our PR agent about the Starlight Accolades tonight. And Ren, what's up with you? Oh, you have the emotion bomb too? Oops. What are you watching? Cooking channel? Oh, Ren, you're having a very cute night up here. Can you please get out of your bathing suit, though? You've been in this outfit for, like, five years. Practice typing for four hours. That's what Edison wants to do for his aspiration. God, okay. Four hours. Kitty, what's the matter? You don't like the fireplace? Well, there's a lot of other rooms you could be in right now you know i'm gonna get lamar to come outside and hopefully oh here's someone that we can do, introduce ourselves to lou oh my god lou you are a b-lister since when sir it looks like everyone had a successful air day as well thank goodness but yes i'm gonna need you to come out here and introduce yourself because for your aspiration you just need one more person uno mas Meet someone new in three different locations. Achieve level four charisma. All right, we can definitely do that. It was nice to meet you, Lou. I'll be seeing you later. He wants to woohoo with Zoe, so I'm gonna I'm a let him do that. Oh my God, he's feeling flirty and he's about to serve some rainbow brownies. He is really feeling himself right now and I don't blame him. He just <laughs> had woohoos with his wife. <laughs> He's vibing life right now. Quick question. Tia Fires and I were planning to spend some casual friend time together. Should I do it? A Fires, huh? Yeah, I think you should. I still like the idea of um, merging the families in some way. Where are those rainbow brownies at? Where are they? I'm trying to see this. Do you have work today, by the way? You do. Why aren't you going? Oh, he's going right now. Okay. Have a good shift. Zoe has finished creating a carton of mango sorbet. Well, yum. So you're telling me that he made brownies and you made sorbet? You guys really are in good moods. The kids are gonna love this when they come back. Yes, Bruce, what is it? Wait, Bruce was calling. Oh, Zoe, 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 where's your Starlight Accolade? I wanna put it on display. I was probably in the family inventory. Oh my God, Halloween is tomorrow. Sheeps. Okay, so instead of having a Halloween party, I think what I want to do is have a spooky movie night upstairs out here in our outdoor theater. I'm hoping that um, it's not raining tomorrow. Let me check. It will be, and it's gonna be a full moon. Oh man. Um. I, if it's raining by the time it like gets nighttime, I will just, I'll just change the weather. But <laughs> yeah, I think we're gonna have like a little movie night, make popcorn. Let me look and see what's in the movie hangout pack. See if there's anything cute that we can put out here. Wow, the amount of items we got with this pack is so sad compared to what we get now. That's insane. That is so crazy. Okay, I'm just gonna put some pumpkins out here by the by the by the screen okay and then i'm gonna grab a pumpkin carving station all right there we go we are all ready for our halloween movie night which is tomorrow so 
Um, you guys are gonna have to let me know in the comments what kind of style wedding you think Zoe would have. Would it be like a small engagement or a large engagement? And also like what colors, what theme, like boho wedding, classic wedding. Yeah, you guys are gonna have to let me know. All right, I'm gonna get Manami over here and this is how we are going to end the episode with a little, a little makeover for her. Lydia Rob, why do all these elderly women want to be our best friends? All right, darling, what are your traits? Creative, perfectionist, and great storyteller and you have the Zen Guru aspiration. Love that. She likes green. She doesn't like lullabies, suburban contemporary decor, or painting. So let's get rid of your iconic butterfly. <laughs> She's actually really adorable. I think Bellamy made a good choice. Um, Bellamy is pretty... He's pretty... Um, he's, he's an edgy lad. He's the one with the mullet and the piercings. Um, and I kind of feel like his, his girlfriend would be similar or completely opposite holy moly she's she's already like it looks like she's already in her third trimester wow that was so unbelievably fast <laughs> Ugh, she's really pretty she's really really pretty before she had really um long blonde hair but uh, I don't know. I just I don't think the, the blonde looked right on her. So we're gonna we're gonna give her her brown hair. We know she was naturally brown haired brunette. I mean because of her eyebrows. Let's find you a good uh, pregnancy outfit. But also that's also cute and young because Bellamy Bellamy is still a young pup. We could give her like a share kind of style from Clueless, but a little bit. This is cute. I love pinstripes, guys. It just reminds me. Of Beetlejuice or like Jack Skellington and I'm just a big fan but I also really like this plaid on her. We can give her like long socks and some oh. loafers. I think she likes that idea. Did you hear her? She's really cute. I think she rocks the style. Yeah, I think she rocks it pretty well. Ugh. She is just, just adorable. Just adorable. All right, y'all, super fast, but here she is. I hope that you enjoy. <laughs> I just did this really quickly. A lot of my CC does not look good while the Sim is pregnant, so we're going to have to give her some solid outfits when she has the baby. But yeah, I hope that you guys like her. I'm pretty satisfied. I'm so very excited that Bellamy is having a baby. What? First Ophelia and now Bellamy. How exciting. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. In the next one, we are going to get Zoe and Lamar married, um, celebrate Halloween with our little movie night, and, you know, just keep working on skills and all that stuff. So I will see you guys in the next one. If you would like, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, and then I will link my Discord in the description if you guys would like to participate in future polls about videos and things like that and announcements about streams as well. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Peace.